Hi, this is Brennan with My Service Depot. In this video, we're going to see how we can use iFleet to add your company owned assets to jobs to keep track of where those assets are located and how to bill your customers for the use of those assets. Let's take a look at how we can do this. From the jobs to do screen in iFleet, I'll open the job that I need to add this asset to by tapping on the appointment time and job name. Next, I'll tap on Assets to bring up my asset list, and then the plus symbol to go to Asset Detail. Tapping on the white box beneath Asset will take me to Asset Selection, where I can tap to choose my asset. I'll go ahead and tap the name of a convection oven that I'll be renting to my customer on a monthly basis. This takes me back to Asset Detail, where I can enter in the location of my asset as well as any relevant notes. To save time, I'll use Talk to Text to add this information by tapping the microphone icon to the left of the Keep spacebar. Second Work Table Location looks good. I'll go ahead and tap Done, and next I'll enter my notes. Customer Signed and Agreed to Rental and Contract Terms Now that I've entered my assets location and notes, I'll tap asset list to review the list of assets that are tied to this job. In this example, I only have one asset listed here, but I could add as many assets as necessary to this list. Since I'll be billing the, my customer a monthly rental fee for the use of this asset, I'll check the checkbox to the right to mark that this asset was serviced and then the X to go back to my job. So, by this point, I've added my asset to this job in iFleet, and I'm ready to bill my customer the monthly rental fee for the use of this asset. To do so, I'll simply tap Add Assets under Job Items, which instantaneously adds it to my items list. My item my asset is now tied to my customer as service address, which will help me to keep track of where it's located. It's added to my items list in an easy to read format, and I'm ready to finalize my job in iFleet and then sync it to smart service. For more tips and tricks, follow us at smartservice.com.